Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. On this art marketing vlog, we're gonna talk about custom work and one-of-a-kind items. So if you are an artist, you probably have done commissions before, or maybe that's kind of like what you've hoped to do. You hope to get commissions, because I mean, that way, you know, when you sit down to do a painting, that it's actually, uh, it's actually spoken for. You know you're gonna sell it. So maybe that make you put a little extra work in there, but you know you're gonna get um, reimbursed for your time. And that's kind of a cool feeling. However, you may be limiting yourself by taking commissions and doing one of a kind work. And one of a kind work, I would mean like if you're, maybe you're a jewelry designer and somebody hires you to make a necklace for their wedding, um, when you make something one of a kind and you put the time in designing that, you need to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. And every one of a kind piece you take in has a lot of, um, a lot of work on the back end, meeting with clients, figuring out they want, redoing things if it's not exactly what they want, and they end up being very time intensive projects. Versus if you're just making products, making jewelry, you find one jewelry design that's a hit and you just make that one over and over again, you'll actually end up making more per hour because you only have to design it once and then you can make it, you know, 25 times and you get quick at it and you're making what you want to make as opposed to what somebody else wants you to make. And that's kind of the, the pitfall there with doing commissions is you're painting something somebody else wants you to paint and of course you're putting your best into it because you know you're gonna get paid for it and you're really giving it your all and then you may actually come out with one of the best paintings you've ever done but then you sell it once and that's it you're not gonna do prints of it because somebody commissioned it somebody's kind of either you know had you paint a picture of their house or their kid or their dog or something like that something that wouldn't necessarily be um something that a lot of people would want to have prints of and yet you've put all that work in and you're only going to get paid once for it whereas if you just did a painting you were passionate about and that you loved then you could make prints of it and have it printed on pillows or printed on journals or printed on note cards and you have control of that artwork to make money scalably in the future i'm not saying one's better i'm not saying one's worse definitely i think um most of us start off doing a lot more custom work and commissions and then as we grow we do less and less of that as we kind of have the freedom to kind of create what we want as we build a name for ourselves but just kind of think about that when you're taking in custom work um is it really serving you is it really worth the time are you going to get really paid fairly for your time you're going to be spending on this because it always takes longer than you think it is and just make sure you know all of those different pitfalls before you um you accept a job i'd love to know what you think in the comments below please let me know and if you do commissions let me know how you make sure you get paid a fair rate for your time i love doing these art marketing vlogs and seeing what you guys have to say and helping wherever i can so if you found this helpful please give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching until next time happy crafting